What's going on guys, Eric Allen, owner of Top Rated MMA. Hey, for this show, I got to talk to Joel Thomas, who's the owner and founder of Cage Combat Championships and Warrior Camp MMA. They've got a show on June 1st. It is a stacked card, three title fights, 16 fights on the night. It's going to go fast. They don't mess around. They get them in, they get them out. It's a great event. Be sure to check out the show to find out what's coming up. Thanks for uh, jumping on the call real quick, man. I appreciate it. Absolutely. I love the new logo, man. The whole Cage Combat Championship, man. It's it's pretty sick logo, dude. Yeah, thank you very much. We uh, we like that name better because now we can, you know, we can kind of do those uh, combat jujitsu stuff. Yeah. And then we can also, you know, I mean, if we want to do a, a kickboxing in there or stuff. So we can kind of, you know, it's like uh, anything in the cage that's fun to watch and exciting for fans we can do now instead of just calling it like you know cage fight i guess proving grounds before um we could still have done that but we like this you know yeah anything that's fun to watch in the cage we're going after so awesome man i was gonna ask too you were down in panama for two months dude how was your trip it was it was really good uh i actually got a coach at a couple of gyms and stuff too i was down there so okay. that was really fun Went down and uh yeah that one gym was trying to get me to stay down there they loved they loved me they yeah. they had some uh, really good guys that uh, there was a 20 year black belt there that was phenomenal. Nice. Um, but yeah. And, and then the rest was just for vacation. So it was nice. really, okay. really fun. <laughs> and after hooking up with the guys from the gym, they actually took care of us better. You know, we were just wandering around trying to figure out stuff. And then after we actually got hooked up and I started coaching that gym a little bit, they ended up taking us on their uh, yearly vacation and it was just phenomenal. So awesome. Man. Very cool. Um, I was going to ask, so you've got, uh, is it two or three title fights uh, on this next one? Three title fights. Okay. And we almost did a fourth, and we were like, man, we might have to, you know, call that a champion or something because we don't, we almost landed a fourth, but right now we have three. Three. Okay. So, and who are the who are the title fights? So uh, Alex Alex Rose, our guy, is going for the one seventy pound title. Okay. Um, we have Sergio Sergio Chavez is going for the hundred and forty five pound title. And then we have A and John Beal, a 125-pound title. We might actually have a title before another fight. We have kind of a super fight, too. So I think we have, we're have we going to have two title fights and then a super fight and then an, and then a title fight before the super fight. Wow. Um, and we have a – our super fight is going to be awesome, too. So that's why we're putting it up just because it's going to be fireworks and, you yeah. know, it's going to be a super good good fight versus uh, our, our dairy uh, – Alderman versus Craig uh, Feastner out of uh, Coeur d'Alene. So okay. he was, a, you know, I think he's a two-time state champ wrestler and then uh, college wrestler out of NIC and superstar. Uh, been training under Pablo out there in Coeur d'Alene. And then okay. our guy, just me and he's undefeated 2-0. Um, and uh, they're both they're both newer, but we just we know who they are as athletes. And we've seen them both kind of do stuff. And it's like, whew, it's going to be it's going to be a nice one to watch. So no, I'm excited that I finally get to come and see one of your events. And I swear it's like these crazy life events keep falling on all these events that you have. Uh, and so July 13th, it's on my calendar. I'll be there for certain. Uh, hopefully it's as big of a card as this one is for sure. Yeah, I hope so. I mean, obviously, you know, we sometimes we don't know how the chips are going to fall. Yeah. Um, again, when I was at the Roxy, like we had four. One of them was kind of a flop because they switched the whole like local Gonzaga game to the Friday of mine. And then, oh, you know, gotcha. and then I'll sometimes, you know, and then the UFC like holds, you know, fight night too and all that kind of stuff. It's like, Oh darn it. Yeah. I'm going against all these other events. Um, and then sometimes just, you know, this one, like I said, we almost have four, we almost got four titles on it because wow. Colton Nibbler almost fought for the 45 pounds out. So it'd have been like 35, 45, 55, 70, like a whole chunk of guys fighting for titles. Yeah. Um, but still three titles is, is plenty and uh it's it's really good card i think uh two four 
six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16 fights lined up right now. Come on, so, man. That's a stacked card, dude. Who else, like, outside of the title fights, who else, are, who are the other fighters that you're kind of looking forward to seeing? We got a lot of, a lot of Warrior Camp guys. So, yeah, like, I mean, Alex Sergio and Derry, they're going to be the, some of the top ones. Mark Coates uh, and Nathan Thompson is actually going to be super cool because they're both pros, and they're just getting in there just to kind of do a kickboxing match to, you know, sharpen up their skills and whatnot. Yeah, yeah. But it, it's where it's, you know, it's not a – it's not a real bout. It's just like them kind of just a demonstration almost. Sure. Uh, two high-level pros banging it out. So you're going to an amateur show, but you're going to get a witness some pros get in there and throw down. So yeah. that's always fun. Yeah. Uh, Mark Coates, my coaches. Um, we have Corey Day, who's uh, held and defended my belt like three or four times, going against John Beal, um, who has three belts himself. So that'll be a fun one. Yeah. Um, we have, uh, yeah, Jonathan Kendrick. Uh, he's been... He looks real clean on his hands. Well, we have Amos Jack. Two members from my gym are fighting each other. Okay. They're just like, we want to we want to go after it, and we're going to put on a good show. I'm like, okay. So, you know, I'll yeah. be cornering one of them, and Daniel will be cornering the other, you know. And so just kind of goes to show people that fighting's not all, you know, like we hate the other person. It's like, sure. no, those are two buddies. We, uh, I've had two brothers fight on my card, or I've had multiple siblings fight on my card really? uh, multiple times as well. well. And they're obviously, you know, still buddies and brothers and everything. So um, <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, we got and then and then at the start of the fight, we have uh, quite a few kind of new blood. There's a couple, um, you know, excited to see uh, Hunter is one of our guys that have been here for a while. And it's his first fight. He's a younger kid. I think he's uh, 19. It's always exciting for a coach, you know, when you've been training with kids, because um, some of them, they might be, you know, they might be gym heroes and then they might, you know, fold under the lights and then other ones you'll see like uh one of my guys uh that's a pro now alan nicolason you maybe seen him fight a couple times or whatnot for me yeah. but we called him the sleeper because when coaches talk you know they'll be like well how tough's your guy and i'm like ah i don't know you know he, he's not that aggressive he you know but this is that so we so we can make good matchups you know because yeah. i'm a i want good fights so yeah. you know if i know that this guy doesn't punch a whole bunch, but he really likes the ground game. I'm going to try to put him up with a matchup that's going to, you know, that's going to work well. Yeah. Um, and so, Alan, I'm sitting here saying, like, ah, you know, he's not very aggressive. You know, he, he kind of just sits. He doesn't look like he has a mean bone in his body. <laughs> yeah. And he went out and just, like, just destroyed a person, like, got into a, you know, like this spy just, like, just was, like, angry out there and i was like oh my god and then you know the other coach is like dude you told me he was like he didn't have a mean bone in his body and i'm like yeah. well he in the gym i never saw it once yeah and then you put those lights you know people get in those lights and they get in front of a bunch of people and get locked in a cage and you're like oh no just flip the and then switch. sometimes it's the opposite you know yeah. we got a couple like, i got a couple guys in here that are doing phenomenally well um but it's gonna be their first fight so We'll see if they freeze up. We'll see if they, you know, if they go out banging like they, they have been in sparring and everything else. And yeah. So excited for the whole card. I mean, again, this this card is is great. Last card was awesome because we had a couple of title fights sold out. Um, the card before that, man, eh, wasn't that good. But you know that happens in the UFC and everything too. So. Sure. But this one is a good one. Nice. <laughs> Just from what we see again, sixteen fights and got a couple undefeated guys. It'll be it'll be a great card. So June first, what time the fights start? Uh, fights start at seven seven p.m. Uh, doors open at six thirty p.m. Okay. So yeah, there's a poster. We try to bust through fights. If anybody has been to my fights, you know, again when you have sixteen fights, there's no downtime. Yeah. We don't. You know, it's not like we're sitting waiting for the next fight. It's like you guys get out of the cage. You guys get in the cage now. And so um, you get. And, and I don't want a, an event that takes four hours, right. you know? I try to get them done in a couple hours, and we just just get through the fights as quickly as we can. Some of them have been over three hours because the fights take up, you know, just because the fighters are, there's three round fights. But sure. uh, for the most part, uh, at the Hub for $20, you know, you can't beat 16 fights with three titles and just 
go, 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 go. You'll see fight after fight after fight after fight. So I love your card, man. Every single fight time that every time I've been to your card, there's been like one decision on the night, dude. So it's always finishes. It's always exciting fights. And I love that you guys just crank them through. No sitting around, waiting around. So uh, I'm bummed I'm going to miss this one, but I will certainly be there in July. Uh, June 1st, Cage Combat Championships, man. Thank you, Joel, again for jumping on the show. I appreciate it, dude. If you want to get tickets, you can jump on. Uh, it's still under the Proving Grounds Facebook page. Um, and I'll also post a link on Warrior Camp right now. Just so either if you go to Warrior Camp Facebook or Proving Grounds Facebook page, uh, there will be a link to buy tickets if people want to purchase tickets. And then there's always tickets available out the door. So Cool. Uh, we only have a limited. The uh, VIP section is $30 now instead of 40 because at the hub little different seating arrangements. So it's only $30 for VIP, but there's only 100 seats, and we probably have um, about 40 to 50 gone already. I'm excited, dude, and uh, have a great day. Thank you again for jumping on the show, man. It's going to be a great uh, yep. great night of fights for you. Yeah, thank you very much, man. All I'll right, see dude, you at the we'll next one. Then. Thank you so much for checking out the show today. I really appreciate it. Be sure to share this video. Give our pages and likes and follows. We appreciate all the support that we get from all of our fans. Thank you so much. Enter our monthly giveaway so you can get something for free. No purchase necessary. U.S. residents only.